Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2017, slot to DILR, says that an old woman had the following assets 70 lakh in bank deposit, one house worth rupees 50 lakhs, three flats each worth rupees 30 lakhs, and a certain number of gold coins each worth rupees 1 lakh. The number of gold coins is not given to us. She wanted to distribute her assets among her three children. Nita, Sita and Gita. The house, any of the flats or any of the coins were not to be split. That is, the house went entirely to one child, a flat went to one child, similarly a gold coin went to one child. Now we are given that among the three, Nita received the least amount in bank deposits while Gita received the highest. The value of the assets was distributed equally among the children as were the gold coins. So the different assets are bank deposit, then we have house, flat and gold coins. So these are the four things. So that gives us the total assets. The sum of all these is total assets. We are given that the gold coins are equal and the total assets are also equal. So if gold coins and total assets are equal, so the asset worth through bank plus house plus flat should be equal for all three people. Now, 70 lakh of bank deposit, 50 lakh house plus flats of 90 lakhs. Divide by 3, we will get 70 lakh each. One person gets a house. So, the house is of 50 lakhs. Then rest should be the bank deposit because flat is of 30 lakhs. We cannot give the flat. Now, if a person is given 3 flats, the total would be 90, which is not possible. So, a person can be given 2 flats worth rupees 60 lakhs and bank deposit will be of 10 lakhs. The third person will get 1 flat of 30 lakhs and bank deposit of 40 lakhs. Now, we are given that we need to spot who is who. It says, Nita received the least amount in bank deposit. So, least amount in bank deposit is this. So, this is Nita. She gets 2 flats of 60 lakhs rupees and 10 lakhs in bank deposit. Gita received the highest bank deposits. So, this must be Gita and this will be Sita. So, Sita gets 20 lakhs in bank deposit and a house worth rupees 50 lakhs. And finally, uh, Gita gets 1 flat of 30 lakhs and 40 lakhs in bank deposits. So, all are adding to 70 plus some gold coins. Hence, the total assets will be the same. Now, the first question is, how much did Sita receive in bank deposits? So, Sita received 20 lakhs in bank deposits. Next question, how many flats did Nita receive? So, Nita received 2 flats. Now, for the next couple of questions, the last part of data has changed. It says the value of assets distributed among Nita, Sita and Gita was in the ratio of 1 ratio, 2 ratio, 3 while the gold coins were distributed among them in the ratio of 2 ratio, 3 ratio, 4. One child got all 3 flats and she did not get the house. One child other than Gita got rupees 30 lakh in bank deposits. How many gold coins did the old woman have? So let us make the table again with some modified information. So, bank deposit, house, flats and then we have gold coins and this is the total assets. So, three people N, S and G. Now, we are given that the gold coins were distributed in the ratio 2 ratio, 3 ratio, 4. So, 2x of gold coins, 3x of gold coins and 4x of gold coins. Now, what is total asset in this case? Total asset will be 210 lakhs plus 9x and it is distributed in the ratio 1 ratio 2 ratio 3. So, we will divide into 6 parts. That gives us 35 plus 1.5x. Now, we can avoid the decimal by making it 18x and taking the gold coins as 4x, 6x and 8x. Now it is 18x, so each part will be 35 plus 3x. 
Now the first person gets one part. So it is, you can say 3x plus 35. Second part is 4x, uh, sorry, 6x plus 70. And third part will be 9x plus 105. So these are the total assets. And now we need to put 210 worth of assets in this, these remaining values. Now this person gets gold of 6x and total assets of also 6x. So this person should get other assets of 70 lakhs. Okay. Now, can this person get the flat? The person can, it is given that one child got all three flats. So if you give three flats to this person, the person has already just maximum 70 lakhs in assets. So this person cannot get all three flats. If you give all three flats to uh, Nita, then what happens is the person's asset will become 4x plus 90 and this is given as 3x plus 35. So this person also cannot get the flats. So it is quite evident that Gita will get all the flats. So this side will be Gita. So Gita gets flats worth rupees 90 lakhs. She did not get the house. So she will not get the house. Okay. Now, it is given that one child other than Gita got 30 lakhs in bank deposits. Okay. So, this person has to get a total asset of 70 lakhs. If this person is given 30 lakhs in bank deposits, flats are already gone. So, 40 houses of 50, that is not possible. So, that means this person does not get those 30 lakhs. So, Nita will get 30 lakhs in bank deposits. And now, uh, we cannot give house to Nita because it will become 4x plus 80. So, house goes to Sita. She has to get 70 lakh in assets. So, she will get 20 lakhs of bank deposit. And so, uh, she gets 20 lakh of bank deposit. Flat is gone. House is gone. And here we will be left with 20 more, 20 lakhs more of bank deposit. So, just tell it that it is uh, 70 lakh of bank deposit, house and 3 flats. So, we can use any of the equations to find the value of x. So, 4x plus 30 is equal to 3x plus 35. So, this gives us x is equal to 5. Okay. So, you can check in any of the equations. It should be the same. So, this is 6x plus 70. That is already true. And if you add this, this is 8x plus 110. That is equal to 9x plus 105. So, obviously, we get the value of x as 5. So, x is 5. It is asking how many gold coins does the woman have. So, the woman had 18x gold coins which is equal to 90 gold coins. The next question is how much did Sita get in bank deposits? So, if we see this case, Sita gets 20 lakhs in bank deposits and the question is asking in lakhs of rupees. So, we will input our answer as 20. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.